Hi, this is Scott Shepard of Scott Shepard Photography, and this is a quick demonstration of how to adjust white balance in a series of photos taken in the same light, assuming that one photo is exposed properly and taken with a gray card. Now there are some assumptions uh, that I'm making, that you understand what white balance is, you understand white balance settings on your camera, and that you understand what a gray card is. Um, this isn't really a tutorial about the specifics of those things, but um, just how to take a white card photo and then apply uh, the white balance changes to a series of photos in Aperture. And this is Aperture 3.4.3, I believe. And uh, you may see a little bit of difference if you're using another version other than this. So. Uh, let's talk about this series of photos. It was a series of photos that was to demonstrate something called focus stacking. I was using um, incandescent lighting for this and I had my camera set actually to, uh, we can see this here. Oh, can't we? We can see that the setting was for tungsten, uh, which was uh, the kind of lighting that I had, but it still didn't get it right. But I had a gray card, and so in Aperture, once I know that I have a good exposure with the gray card, I can go to the Adjustments uh, panel. I can go to White Balance. Now, uh, Aperture 3.4.3 gives you three different uh, ways to tune White Balance. I'm going to stick with Temperature and Tint because it's a fairly standard um, uh, tool, and I'm familiar with it. And all I have to do in Aperture is to go to White Balance, Temperature and Tint. This is the White Balance as the camera saw it. And I'm going to click the eyedropper tool. And then I go to the gray card and I sample that. And you'll notice right away that that picture now has been adjusted. Then the next step is, assuming that you're satisfied with that, and we're going to trust the science of the 18% gray card and the software. And it made a significant change in the color, as you can see. And then what we'll do is we'll go down here to the Lift Metadata and Adjustments tool and click on that. Now, one thing you need to understand is that this is going to lift anything that you've done to this photo. So if you've cropped it, if you've uh, done any other adjustments, I like to do the white balance um, up front before I've done any individual adjustments to the photos. And specifically, if you look here, you can see that the white balance is one of the adjustments that we're um, lifting. So basically, we're copying the settings that have been applied to this and now what we're going to do is we're going to um, apply them to a, another image. And you can see what's happened to that. Now, of course, um, Aperture is brilliant as a batch processing tool. And so, really, I can select all of the photos and click the Stamp tool. And it will apply that white balance adjustment to all of those. So, that's how you go from having... Um, a photo that is not so good uh, but exposed with a gray card and how you can adjust all of the other photos that were taken at the same time in the same lighting with the same camera settings um, and make those good too. Anyway, hope this helps. Thanks for listening.